it is something that's really remarkable in that you have basically this whole drive to uh, digital systems, take the manual out of those environments. That's great in the operational space. We've, we've seen that over the years in the IT side. But what we don't seem to see is a crossover of skills between these, these groups. There seems to still be a, a demarcation, partly due to organizational structure, partly due to how they're measured, partly probably just sheer bloody mindedness in many cases. <laughs> yeah. but, but ultimately what, what, what seems to be happening is that we have an IT organization that's only there to, to drive and keep the lights on, but for the clean pristine data center yep. type assets. Yep. And then when you look at the operational assets, the, over the years they've gone from these control systems to discrete and, and logical units, or general compute units, and, and, and the disciplines to manage them hasn't kept up. They, yep. they, they still abdicate them to other people. Yep. They ignore the patch updates, they ignore security. They, they do things just to get the operations back up and running. And that, that's a bit of a challenge, I think, and, and this lack of understanding that actually what we're seeing in the operational space very much looks like the IT space. Uh, indeed, and, and you know, all, all industry standards move on, but I have to say, organizationally, the, the frictions, should we say, between a, an engineering director and a COO and, and your CIO, different, different towers of, 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 of authority and, and responsibility within an organization, but therefore, Different teams, different skill sets, yes. uh, and those those are starting to overlap. And, and dare I say, it, the exchange of of people between teams I'm seeing, that's not then represented by the the skill sets actually being able to be bled across between the teams as well. Yes, but it, it's also because the language is different in both yeah. cases, and and therefore, if you want to bleed the skills, you need to also common create a common um, foundation upon which we're we're talking about the same things. And, and it's almost as if they both take pride in, in upsetting the other with obscure language, yeah. um, changing the skill profiles just ever so slightly that they don't actually match. And therefore, and they're also not prepared to even contemplate that there's a different way of doing something. Yeah. It's, it's, I have done it this way, therefore that's the way to do it. And, and there is a, the, the reality also is that we should be thinking about, well, what can we actually not do? Indeed. Because a yes. lot of the technologies that are coming in are about actually mitigating tasks. Yeah. So instead of us fixated on, I, ha I have the skill, it's do I need to evolve that skill? Do I need to change that skill? Do I need to change the language? And yeah. I'm not seeing any of that. I, I, I think that's the really important part of, of, of the coming together because actually it's not so much the system side, it's the transformation for the business. Yes. And were they to, to step back, step up, look out a little bit and go, what does our business need to do differently? What does our business need to be in the future? I think you see the shift because, of course, the, the efficiencies of having the D word, data, access to your data across your business, yeah, the, the efficiencies it would drive, the visibility it would give of, of waste. Yes. And let's face it, yeah, our, our, our sessions are about sustainability. The waste that you could remove yeah. by just surfacing that, that data across the systems it's huge. But then don't you think that there's a lack of reliance on data in the operational space and an over-reliance on data in the IT space? Indeed. Uh, there, there is, and, it, and I think it is changing, but there is a degree of it's always been done that way, whatever the data says, yes. in one sphere, and we're not going to do it unless the data says in the other sphere. <laughs> Yes, and that comes back then to skills, yes. because then you need to actually have a skill set that is able to interpret the data, and not just look at the operational needs, but can actually say, this data is in context. So remember many years ago when the, the, when the calculator came in, everybody said it would dumb down mathematics and people's skill in being yeah. able to add up and all that. There was a whole heap of, uh, of, of stuff said. But one of the things that they did say is that you need to actually have an understanding of the answer as you're using the calculator. And I, I find that in the operational space, that is sometimes lacking in that we don't seem to give a, um, people the, the skill they need in order to understand what the, the data is actually telling them. And often they don't actually understand the data coming from the assets in any case. And this yeah. is going back to, you know, if we look at ITOT convergence in the context of sustainability, is having a good understanding of what your asset base is. What do yes. I have? Where is it? What is it doing? What is it supposed to do? What is the kind of data that I'm going to 
get out of that entity? And then is it actually what I expect to get? They don't yeah. even ask that question. They just either say it's good or bad. But data is never good or bad. It's it just very fla- <laughs> just say, yes. Well, absolutely it is. But it's flavors between. Yeah, of course. So that is one challenge. And then the other challenge, especially when we look at sustainability, is what data do we need to engineer into this that actual fact will make sense? So yes. how do we change both IT and OT? in order to reflect the sustainable requirements that a company has. Because ultimately, that is an outward-facing activity, which then needs to be managed by the operations team and the IT team. And I think that's a really important part, because the sustainability journey for any business, let alone the the sector that we work in, which a a small, tiny change is going to have a huge impact. Yes. It's not just about bringing in a new platform or a new process or a new way of working. It's actually about the behavioral shift from from leadership and driving a change in culture of of bringing, in this case, IT and OT folks together, the engineering team and the IT team, for the good of the business and without being tried, the good of the planet. I mean, this is where, where it actually gets really interesting is when you look at the compensation and the KPIs that drive the different teams without actually addressing some of those, and that's actually what, where you're coming at, which is that organizational yep. cultural change. We are going to con- constantly go at a divergent course. We're not actually coming in on a, on a convergence. Yeah. Because as an example, we, we, we did a, a piece of work on condition-based maintenance where we were taking data on an IT, from an IT system that was getting the data from the operational space, and yeah. all, all worked really well. Um, we, we were able to see clearly a correlation between the work that was being done and the work that shouldn't be done. Yep. That's fine, yep. that's great. Um, but when we presented that to the engineering team, they took a look at it and said, well, actually, hang on a moment. That list is different to this list. This list is being issued to me by my management team, and this is mm-hmm. the list that I'm going to get paid on and judged, and um, my efficiency is going to be measured by. Why would I do this list? Indeed when it's actually quite clearly a prioritized list, but none of those priorities are on this list. And therefore, yeah. my behavior is quite clearly going to ignore anything from the digital side and take everything from the analog side. And therefore, yeah. I'll do what I've been told to do because that's actually how I get measured. So, so yeah. convergence is, is both a technological thing, which I think mostly it's companies know how to do. Mm-hmm. But the skill, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. The alignment of, of KPIs, I think, is nowhere close. No. And I also think when you look at the regulator, especially in our space, they don't seem to address that human aspect terribly well. They talk about the need for digital, which I get. Yep. Uh, they talk about the need for uh, ecosystems and cooperation between different partners. That's all good. But how are we going to do that when the actual organization is completely fractured and not actually coming together. Indeed. That I don't understand. Yeah. And, and, and the root of ITOT convergence, digitalization, the, the ability to reach net zero, uh, ultimately is a human endeavor. And yes. that's the bit that I think in the rounds is probably missing. 